Welcome back to another review, and today we have something very familiar to us, we have Settlement Survival, but this time around we have the mobile version of the game. Before I get into anything, I'll let you know that I've got a key for free from the Glimmer Studios, so thank you a lot for that, but all the points that I made here and my the opinions I present, they are my own and they are not influenced by that. And before we get into any of these points, I would like to say that if I believe that Settlement Survival Mobile is worth it, and my answer for that is yes. And I'll get into the details in a second. But please leave a like, leave me a comment, ask me questions. I'm more than happy to answer all of those. I always try to answer all the comments that I have and help you out as much as I can. But I think a comparison with the PC game is unavoidable and I think it makes sense because the game looks exactly the same as the PC version. So if you have played that on PC, you can translate the experience into mobile. There, there are some small differences in there that I will talk about and some of them make the game better, some of them don't. So you can make your own decision. Based on our previous review, uh, we had a few things for the list of pros in the game. So we had the research tree, the landscaping tools, the number of available buildings, the resource management, and the active development, because this was in early access when we reviewed the game for PC. Now for mobile, you still have all of that, but with the addition that the game is a lot more mature and they are looking into all the feedback so they can make it better and better if you find some issues with the game. Something that is quite fantastic is I felt a little bit different about the game on mobile and on PC. So for mobile I played on iPad and on, on my phone as well and I, I thought the experience on both devices were very similar but the iPad provides a lot more screen space and feels a little bit better. But on mobile, it's a little bit easier to take the game anywhere with you and you don't need like a, a big screen to play it and it's quite fun to have it around. I thought that playing that on mobile is a lot more chill than it was on computer. I don't know if it's the, uh, the pressure on the computer if I've, I was playing a little bit more on that survival mindset, although it's definitely there for mobile. I thought it was a little bit more uh, fun to play it and I could save it at any time and then come back later. And not that I can't on PC, but being able to go out and I don't know, you're waiting to at the doctor, for example, you bring your phone up and play it a little bit before you get into the, your consultation and do things like that. It's just really, really cool. I think, obviously, it's a mobile game, but I think this brings a new layer of enjoyment and you can play it in smaller stints instead of playing for a long time, which is what I usually do on computer as well. Obviously, this is my personal experience for you. It could be a little bit different and you can let me know in the comments as well. I would love to hear your experience with that, but I believe it's working really, really nicely. Now, moving on into what might be the cons list. What we had before was that it was still in early access, so there was a few bugs all around and the UI uh, labels for English, that there were a few things missing. I'm happy to say that it's in a better state now, and uh, even the UI was adjusted for mobile, so it works a little bit better in terms of what you see and what you can do on the screen as well. I just feel like if you use, for example, uh, an iPhone as I do, you have that, uh, you probably seen on the, uh, on the image that you have that bar that shows up at the bottom of the screen all the time and sometimes you can actually read what is in there, but it goes away and you can still keep playing. So that's not a big deal. The description of the buildings is actually not there as well. So when you select a building, 
to put down something like a house or a, a farm or uh, any other building really when you select the building you don't have any description so you don't exactly know what materials you need for that or um what what you can do with that building you just have the name and if like sometimes it doesn't tell you as much so for example if you have a repair shop do i need any materials for that uh to be able to repair the uh, the houses and the other buildings around it it doesn't tell you until you actually bu build that building so there are a few things that i believe can be improved and potentially will be improved and the uh, glimmer studio is keeping an eye on all the feedback as well and they have been fantastic throughout the whole process uh, from the pc game to the mobile game they have been quite nice and open to feedback as well so i i really hope that those smaller things they will be improved and that will be uh helping everyone on the on the long term and playing that on mobile that is also my personal experience in i love to get things like in a certain way in a certain layout and on mobile because the place where you put things is just under your thumb not that this is wrong like I, I don't even know if that is a better way of doing it but just because it's under your thumb you sometimes can't see the exact position you are playing things uh, or you're putting things so you can see me tapping on the screen here and there and moving around and sometimes i'm just trying to get like a better angle to see things but what i also realized is that the more i played the easier it was getting so this was something that wasn't a problem after some time so i was just getting used to it so i just feel like that's the the style in there and it is what it is you know it's uh it's an enjoyable game anyway i still think the graphics of the game they fit very well i still like the music i still like the animations um you still can build a pretty large map i just think you have one option uh, that's not available in the mobile but it's available on pc but it's still like a huge map and you can build like a, a huge town in there you won't have problems with that like feel free to to explore it you currently have 12 languages that includes english french german russian spanish portuguese italian polish turkish korean japanese and simplified chinese it's a lot <laughs> keep in mind that you have uh, different levels as well difficulty levels to so have easy normal hard and extreme um, you can explore those options and when you start a new game and change the size of the map as well and the resources available so you have speeds from one to up to five times uh, which helps when you're waiting for things to get built i don't want to say that's an improvement on the pc game because the game is very much the same but it's an improvement on the experience if you can't stay at a computer all the time or if you don't want to or if you prefer games on mobile so you can check it out the game is available on the app store and on google play and on tap tap that's available for android and you have a free demo for android but the game is paid after that and it's paid for uh, in the app store as well take a look at the trailers take a look at the gameplay that i'm showing you but if you enjoy the pc game you might enjoy that as well let me know your comments uh how you felt about that if you have any feedback as well let me know that and i will pass that along for the developers so in conclusion do i think that settlement survival the mobile game is worth it my answer is yes i can say that i i've enjoyed it almost as much as the pc game and like that that's that goes a long way uh, in my opinion but as always thanks a lot for watching i'm really keen to hear your feedback so leave some comments below or join our discord server i really appreciate um you joining in there we have a community of almost 100 people all 
lovely people and very helpful and we are always sharing screenshots talking about games new games releases things like that uh giving away some keys as well by the way we've gave away three keys for the pc game and you like from time to time we, we have that happening in there consider watching the video on your screen because i think you might like that as well and hopefully i'll see you next time bye bye